Hello YouTube, this is Tofu speaking. Firstly, I would like to apologize for the lengthy wait between my last video and this one. There's a lot of things going on in real life that I have to take care of and I can't I don't have a community post so I can't really tell anyone about it. But well since my obligations for real life is almost over, I can make this short video about my preparations for this month's grind battle. Uh, disclaimer before we go on, I would like you to just cross reference with your clan leader or your clan allocator because every clan has different needs for you as well as it accommodates for your own economy inside the game like your gem count, your mana count, your DA count, etc. as well as your ability to refresh and I don't want I don't want this video to be the catalyst of uh, like people just breaking the unit for no reason so again I would like to just this is video this video is just my experiences and my my uh, my personal guide for uh, farming in this CB especially since nowadays uh, double normal we have two days of double normal for na for this month so I would like to share my thoughts and my experiences for this CB so if you're familiar with this rank which is rank 15 4 again rank x4 is like one of the nicest ranks to be for cb because there's not really much to farm and the gear for x4 is always almost always going to be an offensive or a pure defensive gear for tanks but mainly because we're talking about crime battle it's going to be offensive gear so the game question for physical especially because we are going to farm physical gear a lot because mages are stuck in 14 6 it's called the scarlet worm flame ring it gives physical attack physical crit rate and accuracy there's also sino crystal which is available on some mages for example kiaru here because i put kiaru to rank 15 because of the magical crit buff uh, this one gives magic attack and magic crit rate which uh, is perfectly fine it's just mirror the flame ring but it doesn't have the accuracy because mages don't really care about accuracy they don't really get blinded and whatnot so uh the reason why are we farming flame rings is because Again, I said before that most mages are stuck in 14 6 because of the TP boost gear. Uh, what's it called again? Pro Prosperity Veil? Yeah. The Prosperity Veil is something, uh, someone like Samu Kiaru, like Kyoka, Ana, although Ana has a bug, so we probably won't use Ana that much, and Samu Maho especially, as well as probably Nanaka, who knows? We might use her, but Nanaka and rank 15, also, uh, rank 15 also has the prosperity veil. So it's up to you if you want to get her to rank 15 or you want to keep her at rank 14. But again, I'm so sidetracking myself here. Uh, Scout Wind's frame ring, you want to farm uh, from my clan sources about 300 copies or 300 blueprints. This is a pretty decent padding for DCB's needs as well as future units as well because of the places you farm it. It is uh, 29.14 mostly as well as 29.13 depending on the uh, sub drops that you need. Uh, I'm going to also show it. I'm going to sidetrack and move it to Sama Makoto here because Sama Makoto is actually a CB developer unit. Uh, as you can see, I'm at 281 blueprints right now. I would like to farm 19 more of these. So I have 300 blueprints, that means 10 rings. So you literally can uh, put double tunnels in it. Uh, apart from that, I don't think there's really much. Uh, you want to farm 300 blueprints of flame rings and 60-ish flame uh, sino crystals at minimum. Maybe you want to farm more depending on your PvP needs. But uh, I digress. And speaking of digress, I would like to sidetrack this video to talk about the well, surprisingly enough, the woman of the hour, which is Luna. I've seen a lot of arguments in the Discord server that like main court and my own Discord about the best build for Luna and I really believe there's only three builds for Luna. There's the first build which is the easiest which is called I break. Uh, you don't want to break? Yeah sure you don't level her. Keep her icebox until CB. Uh, the second build which is like the middling build is uh, I want to use her for CB. But I also want to use her for PvP right freaking now. So this is the build that I'm rocking it for this month, which is middle left 3 and middle right 3 or middle right 5. For me, it's middle right 5 because middle right, middle right 3 is literally just a worse middle right 5. And the difference between the magic damage that 
she uses on her skill one. Oh wait, that's uh, I'm sorry for that one. Uh, skill one is very negligible. So the reason why we are keeping her low is because of her EX skill. The main problem about Luna is that she has a very high tendency to just suddenly kill her main target with her skill one. And to mitigate it, we are going to use a low EX skill. For example, EX level one. If you are using her for the, I want to use her for CB and PVP as well. You want to keep her EX a bit low before CB. Then after we get confirmation about her EX level, then you can max or just increase the EX level as much as needed, depending on the timeline that you are using. Because we have so many bugs in this game right now, like the Neneka bug, which really kills down DPS levels, as well as the Ana bug, which hurts her, especially when going for her unique equipment next year. It is better safe than sorry and keep her EX level low before CB later. Even uh, after the Nyaru meta, where uh, you just want to look Nyaru, uh, use Nyaru with the help of Luna, for example, uh, there's like some builds where Luna low EX is the best version of Luna. So you're sacrificing short long term for the short term, or you're sacrificing the short term for the long term. Uh, but then again, it really depends on the discoveries that we are making for the CB, and I don't know if the lab are the lab's going to make a public TL anymore. The reason is that because, uh, well, I guess the uh, public TLs are going to be leaked anyway, right? Because of Facebook. Well, last month proved that auto TLs are leaked day one and uh, manual TLs are leaked day four because of reasons. Well, I don't know. If you want to keep your Luna main for like, if you want to steal some TLs from Facebook, well, I don't know, it's not up to me. I'm just being a real pessimist right here. You want to keep her, uh, you want to keep Luna to be as minimum role as possible. As well for others, I don't think there's really much to talk about. Yeah, maybe if like Kokoro again, Kokoro just keep her as where she is. I think for like Sarah you can get up. Uh, which is Zuru, I think you can get up. Uh, I don't know if we're using Shizuru anymore though, so like it's up to you. Uh, I think for the others, well, I think that's it, right? Yeah, there's not really much that you can, that, that you can actually do in the CB. So um, yeah, I'm going to uh, conclude this video now. So good luck farming your flame rings. Good luck farming your Sino crystals. You're going to need quite a lot of them. And hopefully that you enjoy a smooth CB experience right now. Uh, worry dodge. And this is Tofu signing out.